So now let's um, have a look how this works in Octave. We've got our sampling rate of 5 kilohertz and for this we need our sampling interval here for the bilinear transform, that's our T. So our omega C, so that's this one here. So one kilohertz is established and so so then what we just need to create our coefficients. So the so this is here the or um, well let's start with the feedback coefficients here. So that's essentially just um, the one and then this fraction here. Yeah, so so that is a equals and then one and then we've got this fraction here. So capital T mine multiplied by omega c and then divided multiplied by omega c minus two and then divided by capital T multiplied omega c plus two. So that these it's very characteristic for bilinear transforms to get these kind of terms. And so then then B is even to our, our um, FIR coefficients here actually even a bit more involved here. That's omega c multiplied by t and then this is divided by omega c multiplied by t plus 2. Again quite characteristic for that. And then the second term is identical to the first one. So, so I can just copy and paste it here. So with that we've got our coefficients and now we can just calculate our frequency response and here we just use an inbuilt command to calculate that, create our vector for our sampled frequencies from 0 to 0 0.5 and length of our output vector and then we can plot it xf and ups of h. And so this is our frequency response of our bilinear transformed low pass filter. And so the interesting aspect of this here now is that obviously it's a very shallow low pass filter because it's just first order. So this is just a very, very smooth roll off here. But the interesting thing is here at um, the Nyquist frequency here, here we've got exactly zero. Yeah, so, so therefore the frequency response goes perfectly to zero at Nyquist frequency here. And this is what we want in the, in the Z-transform. And so, and so this works. 